All right, UV main common. So the first we have UV settings. The most interesting part here, well, you can choose a different unwrapping method, which I'll just leave it as it is. And then we have this distance between the shells, which is by default is eight pixels for 1024 and then doubles for each extra resolution. So you can modify the distance by 200% or by decreasing by like 50%. I don't really know why I wouldn't you just Ask, why wouldn't you just put it in the pixels? But it's uh, how it is. You just need to modify it in the percentage. So clear clusters common will remove any classes you could have created before. The clear seams will remove all the seams out and make it just one united object, one united sh shell. Then we have auto seams if you want to quickly automatically create the UVs, which you would normally do before. Right now, I've already unwrapped everything properly. And there is a really handy uh, button for sharp seams for uh, hard poly edges. It's really handy for game development, for game modeling. Unify UV is unify multiple UV sets. First of all, if you want to create a new UV set, you need to go into this little tab right there and say add new add a new UV set. And you can see here, if I go to set 01, I have nothing there because it's kind of empty. So this one will unify all of them. Unwrap will move all the shells into one uh, UV tile. So for example, here I moved it a little bit away and if I click on wrap, it will put it all back into one UV tile. Auto map is auto UV in, so it will just do a similar thing as auto seams, but in this case, it will actually also create a whole bunch of uh, shells and it will try to unwrap it on the UV tile, which I don't really want, so I'll undo that. And then we have a pack UV common, so it will not try to unwrap any of the shells that you already created. It will just try to pack whatever you have into one UV tile. Then we have shuffle pack and pack UV2. Shuffle pack will shuffle over Lapid Islands, and pack UV2 will pack without rotation and flipping. And it will try to auto scale the stuff uh, to have matching scale. And then we have an intersections button, which is checking for intersections. Um, kind of overlapping this uh, the shell over on top, but it's not really finding any intersections. So what I try to do, I pull the vertex, vertex over, so now it is overlapping on the geometry. And if I click intersections, it actually will disconnect this piece and move it away. Then we have update islands connectivity, which I'm not too sure what it does. For example, here I've cut this column in two, and I would imagine that updating island connectivity would move them away, but it doesn't really. It kind of, if I just go and pack the UVs, it will move that stuff away. So I'm not too sure what it does. Then we have restore UVs from the mesh and paint room. And I presume it updates the UVs and the mesh and the paint room. Again, it's a little bit unclear what it does. And another feature I'm not too sure about, and if you know about applying UV set and how it works in 3D code, please leave a comment. Then we have just the pretty straightforward saving the UV shell layout, and then we can load it up. We have also, we have also saved contour, but it's more for people who need to do laser cutting, so I'm really not aware of that myself as well.